This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 951 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. horse people coach jen here and thanks for tuning in to horse tip daily today's tip is an excerpt from the horsemanship radio show here on the horse radio network show host debbie laux is joined by julie malik as she offers some advice on eye contact and we'll get right to our tip after this important message from equestriancollections.com <laughs> Well, hello, everybody. Coach Jen here from Horse Radio Network, and I am here with Debbie from Equestrian Collections, and she is here with the EquestrianCollections.com product of the week. Take it away, Debbie. Hi, Jen, and thanks for letting me have the opportunity to tell your listeners about a new tall boot that is different and really, really great. The Tough Rider Wellesley Tall Boots. The reason that these are are so great is that that leather is, when you hear butter soft, this is butter soft. I mean, when you stand them up, they flop over because they're <laughs> so soft and so, they're just, I, I just can't even hardly describe how comfortable these are and how they fit to your leg. They really do. And the, to top it all off, the footbed actually has support. Yay. So, yeah. So you can actually walk in these things. So they are so, they're really quite different. They, because of the very soft, buttery leather, it adheres to your, to your leg, um, you know, like, almost like you don't have a boot on. And you can walk in it because they actually have good support in the foot. Um, they come in a lot of different sizes and we do have the size chart up there. Some of the, um, and the, be careful with the uh, the width because they comes in slim, regular, and wide calf. So there's a lot of different sizes that can go uh, for a lot of different people with this boot. And when you get one and you get it on, you will. I mean, it just makes your leg look taller, makes your leg look slender. It it it's just it's just so soft and comfortable. These and these are the a really pretty elegant design. They've got a uh, punched toe cap, even though they are a dress boot, not a field boot. And they've mm-hmm. got the um, they've got the spur rests that are on either side of the full length the zipper in the back. Mm-hmm. Uh, no uh, no unsightly elastic to to look funky. And they've mm-hmm. got the nice big heavy duty snap at the top, so the zipper tab stays flat where it belongs. And then I really like the really cute little detail at the top of the boot where the where the that little flap of leather would normally go. And it's just got yeah. a cute little swirly detail up there. So they're very classy, but still formal. They're not um, they're not too awfully sporty. So you could be wearing these in formal classes as well as informal and every day at that price point. Let's hear it for $400 <laughs> boots that only cost two fifty one ninety five. So go to equestriancollections.com today and you can search in the search bar, Tough Rider, all one word, Wellesley Tall Boots. And the Wellesley is spelled a little bit wonky. It's W-E-L-L-E-S-L-E-Y. But I'm sure if you just put in their Tough Rider Tall Boot, you're going to get a big long list and the Wellesley will be on that list. So mm-hmm. worry not. Today's trainer's tip is from Julie Malik of Velvet Touch Equine Training. Welcome back, Julie Malik. Thank you again for coming back to Horsemanship Radio and giving us a little training tip from Julie's perspective. It's my pleasure to be here again. Thanks for asking me back. Um, I think what I would like to, to impart as a tip is um, eye contact. You know, when I'm working with someone, especially someone that's new to horses, um, one of the things that I look at first as far as how they handle their horses, what they're doing with their eyes. And Mm -hmm. it's it's so important from the horse's perspective, uh, both to be able to see their handler's eyes. So, you know, lose the sunglasses. um, But also what it is that you're doing with your eyes. And I think most people don't realize how big of an effect 
that can have as far as making a horse nervous or making them comfortable, depending on what you're doing with your eyes at the time. That's great. Um, so h- how does that affect your horse, uh, negatively and positively? Well, for, I'll give you a for instance. If, as most people do, when you're in a conversation with another person, you tend to lock your eyes on their eyes. It's, it's a human thing. You know, it's mm-hmm. accepted as I'm paying attention. Mm-hmm. Um, but when a horse sees you lock your eyes on their eyes, they look at it very differently um, for two reasons. One is that they're a prey animal, and when they see another, uh, when they see a predator such as ourselves, because we are predators, mm-hmm. lock eyes on eyes, that means I'm coming after you. Yikes, I may okay. eat you, and so mm-hmm. they want to move away. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what I think most people don't realize is, number one, you know, you have to observe the very obvious fact that horses are prey animals. They get eaten, and their instinct is to survive and, and run away if they feel threatened. Mm-hmm. Horses aren't afraid of predators, as Dr. Robert Miller says. They're afraid of predatory behavior. Okay. And as predators, humans have to take the upper hand when trying to deal with horses and uh, sort of reprogram themselves to take away some of that predatory behavior in order to make their horses feel more comfortable. So when I see a new person walk up and they want to go rub on the horse and, you know, love on the horse, but they're looking the horse right in the eye, what I see is the horse may just even make a subtle shift away or they may move their head away, or they may just, depending on how sensitive they are, they may actually take steps away because they think, oh, my gosh, this, this predator is coming after me. Mm-hmm. And one of the first things that I train people to do is, that, no, if you want that horse to, to stand and be comfortable with you, go up and have a soft eye. Don't look them in the eye. You know, Keep your body language soft, but mostly don't lock that eye on eye thing because that's such a predatorial action and Mm -hmm. they read that they're so sensitive as far Mm -hmm. as what we do with our eyes what we do with our bodies um yeah they have to be it's their survival instinct yeah it's still in the dna isn't it now i can hear all those women out there sighing going oh but i think my horse likes me to look him in the eye he lets me come and give a good hug on his on his muzzle, and, you know, is not is it okay if I do it with my horse? Well, they may have been conditioned to, to ignore that, but um, I, I challenge them to, to, you know, take a look. When this horse is nervous about something, you know, do does that woman want to make their horse feel as comfortable as possible? Or do they want to just have uh, that horse have to overcome another thing in their environment besides what it is that's making them nervous, like the plastic bag or whatever? Mm -hmm. So why give them more to have to overcome when it's just so easy to retrain yourself to use your eyes in a more appropriate fashion to to make your horse comfortable? For me, that's, that's really important. That's one of the most important things. That's you know, um, that's a good tip, Julie. Well, there you go. You can enjoy Debbie Lauks and lots of fascinating guests on the Horsemanship Radio Show every week at horsemanshipradio.com. Or you can have all of your favorite Horse Radio Network shows with you, like Horsemanship Radio and Horse Tip Daily, wherever you go by downloading the free Horse Radio Network app for either iPhone or Android. We've got them both. Just go to your app store and search Horse Radio Network. Download it today. It's quick. It's free. It's easy. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. Oh.